Hi. Hi there. It's very easy to dehorn horned melons. I've got a box of them here. One, two, three, four. I've got six of them here all together. Uh, they're all very horny. Oops, I shouldn't say that, should I? I shouldn't. And they've got terrible spikes. So what we do is we don some garden gloves and we simply and lightly break all those vicious spikes off. Otherwise it's like a hand grenade. Imagine doing, imagine inter-tribal warfare or something. So all you do is lightly brush those horns and the needle will break off. You don't want to go too hard. You don't want the melon to... Oh, shut up. You don't want the melon... Sorry, cockatoos. You don't want the melon to start bleeding. So, I like going over. In the industry, the horned melon growing industry, they use an emery wheel, but that's pretty good. You just don't want to get thorns in your food and you don't want to get accidental mechanical injury to your person. So that's one. Just a quick going over. Around the stem at the top, there's a few tight ones. That's a cockatoo, did I say that? It's a cockatoo being chased by a currawong or something. Lightly go over, breaking off the needles off the end. And then you won't get damaged. Nothing like being jabbed by a horned melon. Horrible. We've been eating them with ice cream every day. Decadent. Beautiful with ice cream. The little jelly cells slide down your gullet. A lot of people try them only once and then don't try them again. But if you have them with ice cream and get used to them that way, they're beautiful that way. Or with cream and sugar. They could be used in a pavlova too. Whipped cream and sugar. They could be used in a pavlova. That's three done. It's all very quick. It's just so quick. This is rough grade sandpaper, by the way. I know I'm talking too much and I should concentrate on what I'm doing, shouldn't I? Plus I've got slight hay fever, so I sound all adenoidy. Look, it's so quick. That's it just about. I've only got two more to go. Rough sandpaper breaks it off very quickly. That's done. Now, of course, you can rinse them before you eat, cut them up to eat them. And one more. Oh, yes, imagine if I drop that on myself. Look, here we are. There it is. It's covered in vicious horns. But we're going to sandpaper them off. Lightly. Don't want them to bleed. bit of extra around the stem and that's that now all the wicked thorns are gone so voila there we are dehorned horned melons see you then